giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakakodash, and of course, double honor to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. That's what these lessons are for. Um, this uh, lesson here is inspired by um, the live stream the apostle uh, Aram Lab was uh, doing on his page, GMS Info Doc Channel 12, and it was streamed uh, live three hours ago. And it reads the title concerning Elder Abba Bivens and King Marsha. And pretty much in the video, which it wasn't too long of a video, uh, somewhere about, let me see, it wasn't too long, about half hour, you know. And pretty much he was, you know, getting on the former head of Mississippi, a war, you know, in his statements, in way he stated, um, you know, you shouldn't shouldn't have been teaching that uh, Abba Bivens is John the Baptist and, and Elijah, and shouldn't have been teaching that uh, King Marsha was King David and Moses, so on and so forth in the scriptures. Now, um, my testimony uh, to that is, you know, coming into the truth, um, I want to say about 14 uh, years ago, somewhere around there, 14, 14 and a half years ago, somewhere around there, uh, I had questions too to whether or not, you know, you know, who, how do we know this, this man is, is that man in, in, uh, in the Bible, so on and so forth. And it was nothing out of, uh, you know, you know, being uh, of dis disapproval of what the apostles had taught me or anything like that. It was just a question that I had, you know, well, how do we know that? And I, you know, I asked, you know, the elder Gad, you know, and uh, pretty much he told me that, you know, everything is spiritual, you know, you see what I'm saying? If you could receive it, everything is spiritual. And, uh, it might have been that same day or maybe, uh, a couple of days after because we used to frequent the elder Gad's, um, house, you know, myself and a few other, you know, uh, brothers in the camp, we used to frequent the elder Gad's as we were coming up in this truth and we learned a lot of things and whatnot so it was a day when we went to this uh bookstore i believe we were looking for apocryphas or you know uh you know some historical book you know my memory is a little you know uh is a little you know gray on that area there what, what exactly we were looking for but we walk into this bookstore and uh as we're looking in the bookstore there was a random painting of Moses, and I tell you, the, the God on his truth, he looked just like this man right here, all right, who is King Masha, all right, I'm telling you, and you know, other brothers could confirm this too, the, um, the, uh, the elder brother Karab was with it, was there with me. And I believe uh, the elder brother Rapa, you know, he was there also. Like I said, we used to frequent the elder Gad's, um, you know, his house, you know, when we were first coming into this truth, where we learned a lot of things, a lot of lessons, so on and so forth, that brought, up, brought us up on the levels that we are today, you know. Um, I'm telling you, that painting of Moses in that bookstore was a spitting image of this man right here all right and from then on i had no question to whether or not he was king david or not you see what i'm saying i had no question to that you see and that was done through the spirit of yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right now i don't know who needed to hear that and whatnot but hey man if you have spiritual ears you know and spiritual eyes then you know you can you can hear and see in the spirit first corinthians 2 and 14 but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high for they are foolishness unto him and that's one of the things of the spirit of the lord man okay you see what i'm saying that's why yahweh shai told peter Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to thee, but my Father in heaven. 
You see what I'm saying? That's when uh, Yahweh Shai asked Peter who he said that he is. And he told him, I believe thou the son of the Most High. You know? So to a natural man, all right, which, you know, which, what you're going to come to find out is that, you know, some, some brothers are just not spiritual, you know, enough to understand that, man, to receive certain things. They're not spiritual enough to receive it. You know, they, they, they get emotional, they get, you know, uh, uh, flustered and, you know, offended, you know, so on and so forth about things that ought to be revealed in the spirit, man. Okay. It says, neither can he know them because they are foolishly slacked because they are spiritually discerned. All right. Now you look up that word discerned. Let's look that word up right there. It's from the Greek. Strong's G350. Anacrino. 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 It says, examine or judge. It says to investigate, examine, inquire into. What's this? Uh, uh, scrutinize. Uh, sift question um, specifically in a forensic sense of a judge to hold a investigation to interrogate examine the accused or witnesses to judge of examine it says uh, determine the excellence or defect of any person or thing so you're supposed to be able to do that but some of you guys in the spirit, you cannot do that. Okay? You cannot judge a matter in, in the spirit. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't have those spiritual, you know what I'm saying, eyes to see. And those spiritual ears to hear. And that, you know, brings me back to the, uh, you know, there's a story about the history of Susanna where uh, Daniel was there and he judged a matter. You know, so that man was, you know, in the spirit. You see what I'm saying? Now, there's another scripture I have here. It's John 1 and 47. It reads, Yahweh Shai saw Nathanael coming to him and saith of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom is no guile. Now, that's what Yahweh Shai said about this man, Nathanael. Okay? It reads, Nathanael saith unto him, Whence knowest thou me? He's like, where you, where you know me from? How you know, how you know me? You know? Shit, that's stuff that Jake say today, you know? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou was under the fig tree, I saw thee. So Yahweh Shai hit him with something. And uh, he said, Nathaniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, Master, thou art the son of the Most High, thou art the king of Israel. And here's what Yahweh Shai said to him. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than these. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of the Most High ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. You see what I'm saying? So, because Yahweh Shai told him one thing, he believed them straight away. All right. Now, in the spirit, hey, the Lord in that bookstore was showing me to look. This is the man. This man here is is King David. All right. You see what I'm saying? And um, from then on, I never had any question in my mind to, to to whether or not you know this man was King David, and likewise with this man. Okay. Now, I didn't see his face in a, in a bookstore, you know, or something like that on a, on a random painting. I didn't see that. But through the spirit, I believe it. Okay? Hey, because as, as far as learning this truth, you know, the men who, you know, I came up under this truth, in this truth, the apostles, you know, and bishops of Great Millstone, 
you know, they always been on point in the spirit, man. And uh, I could say I 100% believe that this man is Elijah, the prophet, and John the Baptist, and other men in the scriptures as well. Hey, once you come to a certain level in this truth, you realize that everything is reincarnated, man. Okay? And uh, this man, even when you go back into the history, he had to be the man. Okay? If not, where and who, who is he? You know what I'm saying? Because the damn sure wasn't none of us younger brothers that, that came into this thing that was the forerunner. You know? So, through process of elimination, this has got to be the man that Yahweh Shah spoke about he's going to send, you know, before that great and dreadful day come. All right? Hey, so this has just been a short testimonial video, you know, uh, land backing on uh, this this uh, live stream from the Apostle Rhyme Lab, and uh, Lord Willow was edifying. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Krakadash, Shalom.